In this video, we're going to be looking at reacting mass calculations um, for Edexcel Additional Chemistry Topic 6. Now, this is Hayata only, so those of you who are doing the foundation, you do not need to know how to um, do these calculations for your exam. So, the basic point of reacting mass calculations is that they, it allows us to predict a theoretical value of how much of any chemical we should make in a chemical reaction. And we need to know certain pieces of information to be able to work these out. So when we're going, to, uh, going through these, we're going to go through three um, problems um, of increasing difficulty, but the basic idea remains the same each time. The first thing you need to be able to answer these is a balanced equation for your reaction. Okay, if you do not have a balanced equation, you can't answer these questions. The, st the second thing you need is the formula mass or the formula masses of the chemicals you are interested in. The third thing, okay, you need to times this formula mass value by the number of molecules of um, that chemical that are reacting, and we'll explain what that means in a minute. Times by no of molecules. And the last thing you need to look at is the ratio of the masses you end up with. Okay, so hopefully this will um, become a bit clearer when we go through an example. Okay, the first example we are going to look at is this question here. Okay, and it says, in industry, sodium carbonate is made from sodium chloride solution and calcium carbonate in the Solvay process. The overall equation for the Solvay process is blah, 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 blah. Calculate the maximum mass Okay, so this is a theoretical maximum value of sodium carbonate that could be formed by reacting 40 kilograms of calcium carbonate with an excess of sodium chloride solution. Okay, so lots of information in this question. Let's break it down and talk through what this means. Okay, first things first, we have already got a balanced equation for this, so we don't actually need to worry about this. So we're given it here, I'm not going to write it out again. Okay, so our balanced equation is 2 NaCl plus CaCO3 forms Na2CO3 plus CaC2. Okay, we need to know sodium carbonate. That's not sodium carbonate at all, that is calcium carbonate. Okay, sorry, sodium carbonate is this one here. Sodium on the periodic table is Na, carbonate group is CO3. Um, so the, the maximum mass of sodium carbonate that could be formed by reacting 40 kilograms of calcium carbonate, this is the one I was thinking of before, Okay, so our calcium carbonate is this one here, um, with an excess of sodium chloride solution. What this is telling is, is I do not actually need to worry at all about this one. Okay, I don't need to worry about sodium chloride solution because I've got an excess, I've got lots of it. The ones I'm interested in, the thing that is limiting the amount of sodium carbonate I can make, is this calcium carbonate. Okay, so all I'm interested in then, I'm going to write this out, all I'm interested in is calcium carbonate, which is CaCO3 and sodium carbonate, Na2CO3. Okay, what's really nice about this question is it has already given you the relative formula masses. So calcium carbonate, CaCO3, it tells you the relative formula mass is 100 from here. It also tells you the, um, the formula mass of sodium carbonate, which is 106. Okay, so that saves us a lot of work. Next part, the formula mass times the number of molecules of each one. What you need to look at here is back to your balanced equation. Okay, in our equation, we there is no number before the calcium carbonate. Okay, we have only got one um, one lot, if you like, of calcium carbonate that's reacting. We are only forming one lot of sodium carbonate. Okay, so 100 um, for step three here. 100 times one is just going to be 100 again. 106 times one is 106. So for this question, we do not need to worry about um, this third step. It stays the same. Okay, now the ratio. Okay, what this information actually tells us is if I were to um, start with 100 grams of calcium carbonate, I would form, in a perfect world, 106 grams of sodium carbonate. Okay, this is a really key piece of information. These formula masses tell us the relative amounts of these I would make. If I started with 100 tons of calcium carbonate, I would make 106 tons of sodium carbonate. Okay, this is a fixed value. This does not change. And this is what is going to allow us to um, work out the maximum mass of sodium carbonate that I could make. 
Okay, so that is the key step we need to get to to be able to answer this question. Now, our question itself tells us the maximum mass of sodium carbonate that could be formed by reacting 40 kilograms of calcium carbonate. Okay, so we've worked out our ratio here. However, we do not have 100 um, kilograms of calcium carbonate. We have got 40. So what I need to work out is if I start off with 40 kilograms instead of 100, how much of this one, sodium carbonate, am I going to make? Okay, the easiest way to do this, in my opinion, is to do the following. Okay, we want to simplify, uh, we want to simplify this ratio here down so we have one um, to, to whatever, okay? So in this case, if we divide both sides by 100, we are going to get a ratio of one to 1.06, okay? So divide both sides by 100, we get a ratio of one to 1.06, okay? We now need to um, work out how much we would make if we had 40 kilograms of this. So we're gonna times this number we've got here by 40, okay? And that is gonna give us a ratio of 40 to the correct amount of this. Okay, so back to my calculator. If I do, oops, if I do 1.06 times 40, this tells us that I produce 42.4 kilograms of sodium carbonate. Okay. So just a quick reminder about the last section. From my relative formula masses, I worked out the ratio um, of the masses of calcium carbonate to sodium carbonate, which was 100 to 106. Okay. However, we wanted to um, know how much sodium carbonate we would make if we had 40 kilograms of calcium carbonate. In order to do that, to work that out, the easiest way is to get this um, ratio that we worked out as 1 to something else. So I divided through by 100 and I got a ratio of 1 to 1.06. Okay, to get this up to 40 to something, I times through by 40 and got 40 to 42.4 kilograms. Okay, the second question, which is um, follows a similar theme, um, asks us, or tells us, sorry, the equation for the reaction is CaC of free calcium carbonate is producing CaO, calcium oxide plus CO2. Calculate the maximum mass of calcium oxide that can be obtained by heating 25 tonnes of calcium carbonate. Okay, again, our balanced equation we are already given. Okay, so it makes it a lot easier. We are given the balanced equation. Um, CA, CO3 goes to CO plus CO2. In this case, though, I have not been given, I have not been given the formula masses. Okay, so what we are interested in is calcium carbonate. Okay, and I want to work out calcium oxide. Okay, so we, we're interested in calcium carbonate here and calcium oxide here. Formula masses, just like we did before, it gives us the relative atomic masses for calcium carbonate. It's going to be 40 from the calcium plus 12 from the carbon. And we have got three oxygens, so three times 16, this is going to give us um, 48 plus 12 is 60 plus 40, it gives us a formula mass of 100. Calcium oxide is going to be 40 plus 16, gives us a formula mass of 56. Okay, For, again, formula mass times the number of molecules. Again, we do not have any numbers in this equation, it's another, another nice one, so that is just going to be 100 times 1 gives 100, 56 times 1, which gives us 56. Okay, so our ratio of these, if I had 100 um, tonnes of calcium carbonate, I would produce in a perfect world 56 tonnes of calcium oxide. Okay. However, I do not have 100 tonnes. I have got instead 25 tonnes of calcium carbonate. So what I want to work out is um, how does this ratio compare to this one? How do I work out this unknown value? Okay, so same as I did before, I want to get this as a ratio of one to something. So I'm going to divide 
by 100 and I'm going to get a ratio of 1 from that 1 to 0 0.56 okay to get this up to um, 25 I am then gonna um, times by 25 and that is going to give me a ratio of 25 to what was it again 0.56 times 25 gives me a final answer of 14 tons Okay, so I started off with 25 tonnes of calcium carbonate, I produced 14 tonnes of calcium oxide. Final question we're going to look at is a little bit harder, or quite a lot harder. Okay, and in this question, I am told that I have 18 grams of hydrogen gas. I'm going to burn it in oxygen to produce water how much water do I produce? Okay, so in this case, we are not given a balanced equation. How much water? Okay, so the first step I need to do is write a balanced equation. Um, hydrogen gas is H2, oxygen gas is O2, water as a formula of H2O. Okay, I'm not going to go through how to balance this, but we should have a big two here and we should also have a big two here okay so i'm start i've got two um, two molecules of hydrogen reacting with one molecule of oxygen and producing two molecules of h2o formula masses of these um h2 has a formula mass of two times one which is two okay in the question, I am not actually interested in the oxygen. I'm assuming I've got plenty and plenty of oxygen. I'm just told I've got 18 grams of hydrogen, how much water. So I'm going to, um, I don't need to worry too much about that. Okay, H2O water has a formula mass of two times one plus the, uh, the atomic mass of oxygen, which is 16, which gives me 18. Okay, the next step, okay, I do need to worry about this step now. Formula mass times the number of molecules. Here, I've got two molecules of hydrogen. Okay, so I need to do 2 times the formula mass, which is 2, which gives me 4 here. Okay, in this in this one, again, I've got two molecules of water. I need to do 18 times 2, which gives me 36. Okay, so here I have my ratio again. If I were to have 4 grams of hydrogen, I would produce 36 grams of water. Okay, so once again in my question, um, I am asked, um, I'm told, sorry, I've got 18 grams of hydrogen. How much water do I produce? Okay, so I've got my ratio 4 to 36, but how much water I'm going to make if I have um, 18 grams of hydrogen? So as before, to get this as a ratio of 1 to something, I'm going to divide through this time by 4. And that's going to give me a ratio of 1 to 36 by 4 is 9. Okay. And uh, final step, how do I get... Um, how do I get this uh, 1 up to 18? Well, I'm going to times by 18. That's going to give me a ratio of 18 to... 9 times 18 is going to be... Ooh, 180 minus 18 is going to be 162, I think. I'm going to check that. So look. 9, oh, 9 times 18, yeah, good. Okay, so very similar idea again, however, this time I had to go through the steps of balancing my equation. Um, I did have to worry about the number of molecules this time, um, and I went through the same step again, simplifying those ratios, working out the mass I produce.